I'm making a chicken leek and mushroom pie. Here's how I make it. Ooh, take the edges off the leek, the outside bits, and chop it into little pieces. Circles. Frying oil and butter there. Put the leeks in, cook about five minutes, and yep, they're cooked. It's still frying, so I put in my chicken leg and thighs. I've got two of those. I didn't have any chicken breasts, so I'm using the legs and thighs. Um, I don't know what the chickens did with their breasts, but the leg and thighs will be fine. And put in some coriander, because I love coriander. Tablespoon there, and a couple bay leaves, and because I've got them. And flip that chicken. I'm trying to get it to fry and cook and get some of the flavor out of it into the pot. Salt and pepper. Okay, that's always a good idea, salt and pepper. Hmm, and water. Water is always wonderful. Water is necessary for life, and chickens are dead, but hey, who cares? So, and also add a chicken stock cube to make it even tastier and probably saltier, because that's made of a bunch of salt, isn't it? Okay, the chicken's coming loose from the bone after about 15 minutes, so I'm going to take it out, get it off the bone, put the main bones back in, and the chicken bits, and cook it some more. Meantime, chop those mushrooms. Oh, so fast. This is one of my super fast chopping bits that everybody loves. Okay, they go into the pot, into the pot, nice and ready. Ready to be mushroomed down. Now they'll cook down, lose a lot of water from them, and make even more water in the pot. Oh, oh, that looks pretty wet, doesn't it? Yeah, it's cooking. The main thing now is to cook it down until like that, when it's quite thick and it can go inside a pie and cool it down so it's ready to go into the pie so you can bake it. I am putting it into a separate bowl to cool. Good job. Now the pie crust. Two cups of flour, one for the top, one for the bottom, one tablespoon of salt, we're going to it up, get two-thirds cup of fat. I'm using half butter, half lard again, just like my pecan pie and that chocolate pie. Check it. Oh, check it. you got to look, don't you? Can't you see through the plastic? Okay. It, it looks like it feels pretty good. I added water, too, didn't I? Does it need more water? Is it is it okay? Yeah, add a bit more water. Look at that. That's just right. Divide it in half. I'm going to roll out half of it first, of course. Probably the bottom half gets rolled out first, I would guess. So get that into the pie shell. Pie plate, I mean. Get it to fit just right. Looks great. Pour the insides that I've just made and cool down into the pie. Ooh. Spread it about. Get it nice and even. Talk to it if you want. You can say whatever you like. It won't care. It's... Oh well. Chickens, do they have ears or not? And this is just a leg and thigh, so roll out the top crust. Put that onto the pie. Okay. Now do that fancy junk around the edge where you make it hook together. Fold the top over the bottom and into it and then press it together so it sticks together. I didn't have to wet it or anything. Mine stuck together fine. And then start making those scallop designs. I can't really see. Hey, oh, you turn the pie around here so you can actually see making the scallops and pinching it. This is really cool. Oh, yeah, wonderful. Oh, keep going there, girl. You got it. You're almost to the end. It's a circle. Pie. 3.14159265358.9. Okay. Make some holes in the top in case it needs to let air out. Otherwise, it would just burst, wouldn't it, when it's cooking? Okay, looking fantastic. Getting ready to cover the edges. It's going to cook for, what, an hour and a half or something like that? 80 minutes, 85 minutes. Put it in there at about 350, 170. Looking pretty good there. Yeah, so that's the pie, is it? That looks quite done and ready. Ooh, another picture on the stove. Yeah, that looks a bit different. Okay, cutting it up. We're going to have this for dinner. Or well, we already did eat it, actually. Well, this is a video, isn't it? So it, like, shows the past. And, yeah, we had this for dinner. That sounds more reasonable. So cutting it up. And guess what? 
Yeah, I'm going to put it on plates. I put them on different plates to see what looks better. I like the bigger plate, but I don't know which one's a bit better picture. But either way, it tasted fantastic. Of course, Trevor loved it. And it was great. The crust was perfect. The insides t were tasty. And we got half a pie left over in the freezer. Great.